Hi, and welcome to Nichecraft. My name is Cassie, and I'm your host, and you are looking at only some of the items that are going into my current giveaway. Now, before I show you all the items that are gonna be in this awesome giveaway, I do want to remind you of a few things. Number one, this is open to the US and Canada only, at least for now. In order to open this up worldwide, okay, I have it, because I have a pretty small channel still, I need either 5,000 subscribers or 50 channel members. Whichever happens first, then I'll start opening this up to other countries, all right? Um, also, I want to remind you that I do not comment back to my giveaway videos, okay? So if you get any comments back to somebody who either looks like they're me because they have my picture or they have a similar um, name to mine, a display name, right? That is not me. Some people sometimes try to steal people's identity and comment back to try to get your information, right? And it might ask you to text you or to message you on some kind of app or, or, or something. Um, and just please know that those people are trying to scam you. If you see them, the best thing you can do is either report them or let me know about it by sending me an email. My email is in the description as well as on the pinned comment as always. And just let me know about it so I can take care of it, okay? But I try to do all of that um, stuff administratively from, you know, my control panel i best i'm not on youtube all the time believe it or not <laughs> all right and um the last thing that i want to remind you as always is to please watch to the end and i'm only asking you that because you're not going to know what's in this giveaway if you don't watch to the end so it seems kind of silly not to know right and you're not going to know how to enter and also you really need to hear the terms and conditions youtube's big about that all right guys okay so that said I want to start with the bags this time. So I'm just going to move some of this stuff a little bit out of the way. And um, I have a little bit of a story about why I am doing the hat not hate um, bag again. So I just wanted to show you this. This is really nice, sizable um, bag. Okay, hat not hate on one, one side and on the other side you get all of these little hats on there and I think it's really pretty it's really it's really durable and it's got like this is a width right so it's got like that's a long <laughs> I guess I could use this to, to measure because this is going to also go in the giveaway so the width is it looks like about four inches a little bit under four inches so I mean that's that's a good width for a bag right I'm not going to be able to put this back on but this is new okay <laughs> so anyway um Hat Not Hate is an organization um, from Lion Brand, okay? And Lion Brand has this to raise awareness about bullying, okay? And I just want to remind you guys that as somebody with autism, I do, even in adulthood, even like the past month, experience a lot of bullying and it's very stressful. Um, it, you know, and, and obviously when anybody's bullied, it's stressful, okay? It, it, it's, that's always the way it is. People with um, disabilities or people who have a trouble understanding um, social interactions, um, people who have mental health issues and, and all of that kind of stuff, th this can be kind of a make or break situation. And I just want to raise more awareness that you can't see what's going on inside of somebody. You know, there's a lot of things that you can tell about somebody by just looking at them. Maybe their hair color, um, maybe their gender, maybe um, their age, um, yeah, stuff like that, right? But there's so much more that you can't see. And one of that is what they're struggling with, what their issues are going on, what their problems are, are happening to them and um, the different challenges they're facing in their life. Also the good stuff, okay? <laughs> There's always good stuff too. And um, Hat Not Hate really um, is special to me because not only is it a very good charity, but it's also something that I believe very strongly needs to help. So we have this Hat Not Hate bag. If you want to participate in the Hat Not Hate program, um, whether or not this is because you win this giveaway or for whatever other reason, um, just know it's it's done through Lion Brand. You're, you make hats, um, 
that are blue and they have to be, I think it's 75% blue. So you can add other colors, but predominantly blue and um, you donate them and all of that good stuff. Okay. Um, so just know that that's a thing. Um, the other bag that I have is this nice canvas tote. Um, it's a little bit bigger than a regular canvas tote. I got this from Hobie um, back in the spring, um, but I really like this because it's pink and it's got flowers on it. And I, I'm sorry, I bumped you. <laughs> and I wanted to give a nod to Valentine's Day as well. So let's get into some of the other stuff that I have. I'm really excited because um, Annie's Crochet got um, sent me a message. That, now you can sign up for um, mailing lists through through whatever site, you know, as long as they have one. And that's that's what I do for Annie's Crochet. And they had this great deal. And one of the things that they had in the deal was this crochet calendar for 2023. It's really cool because not only does it have, this is for April. Let me um, just open up to January. Not only does it have a crochet picture there, but in the back, it gives you the pattern for all of the different things that you see in the now i'm not going to show you everything <laughs> but for all the different things you see in the calendar so i'll show you january and february so you can see those too so we've got this hearts table runner here for fe february and for january we have a couple of dishcloths or at least one dishcloth here it's really nice pattern nice textured stitch um so you will get a 2023 calendar if you win um, from Annie's Crochet, and it also gives you all of the information, like well, at least all the patterns for that. Um, so we have that. Um, I thought that I would get into the spirit of sharing some pattern books with you guys because I get some of these that are just I just get these, and I get more than one sometimes, and. Um, I just wanted to pass them on. So in this one, it says the best of May Maxim, but it's Mary Maxim. This is a crochet pattern book of 10 different ripple afghans. Um, you know, ripple afghans are ripple afghans, right? Um, but it gives you different color ideas and different um, ways of thinking about um, that ripple style afghan and you get the patterns with that so i have that for my knitters i have um the knit classic afghans and i mean it's kind of the same same idea but these are knit patterns and then um in annie's crochet i have this a year of dishcloths and it is a dishcloth you can make for the whole year and since we have this calendar here for the year 2023 and we're excited about starting a new year at least i know i am um i figured why not give something that will continue to give during the entire year so that is going to be with the giveaway so i'm going to go ahead and start putting these items into um this bag because <laughs> you guys I, you know how i go overboard i i have a lot of stuff here okay so i want to show you the puzzle next um, this is called Kitty's Fun Time. I try to find um, puzzles that have yarn or knitting or crafts. We've got this, it says sewing room back there. This is a 500 piece jigsaw puzzle, so it's not going to be too hard. Something you can do in an afternoon with um, a couple of other people, or you can do it by yourself. But um, this is um, the puzzle for this particular giveaway. And of course, the reason I include puzzles and other kinds of crafts is that I know that, you know, we're not just, <laughs> we're not just yarn crafters, right? So I'm going to put this over here to the side so I have enough room to put the other stuff on here. Um, the other craft that I always like to include is these adult coloring books. We've got that signature calming crochet book. And then I also picked out elegant designs of the ages. It looks like they might be kind of mandala type designs. Yeah, a lot of geometry involved in there. I thought that it would be a really nice, relaxing um, experience. And, it, you know, if you don't like um, puzzles or 
a coloring books or whatever, you can always give this to somebody who um, might like it better, okay? So now I want to start telling you about the notions. So I have this snowy notions pouch, you know, it's, it's still winter, right? <laughs> And like I showed you before, I have um, a measuring tape. I like these because they're better at measuring um, body parts. You know, like if you if you want to measure for a sweater or something, these are a little bit more flexible. So I got you that. In addition to that, I also got you a retractable um, measuring tape. Um, it's just one of these that you can press that button and it curls back up inside of itself. I was going to I was going to give a purple one you you might notice in the picture but um the purple one was kind of wonky so <laughs> i decided to get a different one so we've got a blue one um i always love these um row counters and of course you press the big button to turn it on and then every time you complete a row you can just hit that there's one two three just like that press the little button to clear it um, when you want to start a new project. So I really like these. And, uh, so that is always included here. Um, I got these, um, rows. These are white buttons, but they have like this little rose on it. So yeah, I just want to show you what it looks like from all sides. And I thought that these were so pretty. So I put together a set of five in here. And I just want to put some other things in here as well. Um, let's see here. Mm. So I got, I don't know if this will fit. Yes. Now, for those of you who don't know, it's kind of sad, but Nick Crate went out of business. And this happened in December. And um, I wasn't actually sure of this until more recently, but they did go out of business. I still have a few items from Knit Crate, so I'm putting them in my giveaways. But here are some stitch markers, okay? And one of them is the front of a cabin and one of them is a tree or the back of the cabin. So you can use this to mark whether you're on the front side or the back side of your project. Um, at least that's just a suggestion. You can use them for whatever you want, but that's what I would suggest. So we've got those um, stitch markers there. And then um, the other extra stitch markers that are nice and special are I have these in my Etsy shop right now. They are just little heart stitch markers with little um, sparkly colors on it one's a pale pink we've got a red and a and a darker pink and so that is going to be going in there because valentine's day is coming up can you believe it and then i also have these stitch markers again they are available in my etsy store but i am going to go ahead and give away one of these as well so putting that in my bag with the stitch markers here Okay. All right. That's good. <laughs> and then I have, um, uh, one of the, um, egret or heron, um, scissors. It's got a little, it's got a little protective thing on its beak there. Um, I always, I love these and I, I love including scissors. We've got, <laughs> I love these keychains. I think they're neat. They're just these, um, uh, crochet hook keychains here. Think they're think they're awesome. Putting that in the bag um, as another nod to Lion Brand. I've got this Lion Brand like refrigerator magnet, um, so I'm going to be putting that in the bag. Um, speaking of um, stitch markers, I've got um, some of the plastic diaper pen stitch markers. We also have these. Um, plastic darning needles. I like these the best to weave in ends with yarn if you want to use a needle. Sometimes I use a smaller crochet hook, but no worries. I also have a set of the large eye blunt needles here um, for weaving in your ends and embroidery. Okay, and again, this is from Lion Brand. We have <laughs> this little notion spell just so full. Um, we also have a full set of crochet hooks. And uh, just to kind of jump ahead, the smallest one is two millimeters. And the largest one is, I know there's one larger than nine. The largest one is 10, actually. Where is that 10 millimeter one? There it is. And the largest one is a 10 millimeter crochet hook 
Um, so we've got a whole crochet hook set in here. Okay, I think I have room for the rest of these. Um, I just want to show you this first before I go into the next ones. I have a crochet journal. I crochet, but my favorite hobby is collecting yarn. So this is just um, a way to keep track of patterns. And I use mine so often. It's ridiculous how much I use mine. And it just, you know, it has everything you need to know on, on, on each spread. Um, about the project that you're working on. You can also create a table of contents for all of your patterns as well. But just wanted to show you kind of thing that's available in this. All right, so we've got this crochet um, journal and then I al always like to include a small notebook. Just, I keep these small notebooks around um, so I can jot down notes on patterns and stuff like that. So I always keep one of these in my project bag and I thought that um, you might want one of those as well. So we've got these, um, these two notebooks and so of course I included this nice sparkly blue pen to go with the hat not hate and this again knit crates out of business now but we've got this knit crate um, stylus. It's one of those things you can use on your phone here. It's got a little rubber. Let's see if my, see if my camera will zoom in on that. It's got a little rubber nub here that you can use, but if you don't want to use it for that, you press in and there is the ballpoint pen. So again, I'll just show you here. Yeah. So you can use it as a pen as well. And then there's one more thing that I'm putting in this Notions pouch, and that is we have a couple of wool detergents. These are kind of a single use thing, um, but I really like this company and I'm including a lavender one and a eucalyptus one for washing any kind of your yarn that you might come up with. Um, now you can always use wool light and all of that kind of stuff too, but I personally really like those. So what else am I going to have here? Well, I've got these fuzzy socks with sheep on it. Yeah. I really like those. And now it's time for the yarn. So let me go ahead and get that organized and I'll be right back. All right, guys, are you ready for the yarn? Well, here is the yarn that I have in this giveaway. Um, first, we have four skeins of Wim Merino. Um, it's a, it's a Z twist crocheters yarn. It is from furls. And if that sounds familiar, that's also the names of those really pretty hooks, um, furls hooks. You can get, um, all sorts of different kinds. You can get metal, you can get resin and you can get wooden ones. They're all very beautiful. Um, and I went ahead and got two blue ones because of the hat not hate in case you are, um, inspired to make a hat. Um, and just, just for some stats here, um, this is a medium four weight and, um, it is 50% fine superwash merino wool and then 50% nylon. So it's really soft and it has some of that stretch to it as well. I really like a merino nylon blends, um, personally. So these are really cool for me. Um, and also how many yards per each one of these, let me tell you. We've got 120 yards or 109 meters each. So we've got um, two of them. Um, so that'd be 240 for the blue. And then we also have a purple and a pink one as well. And so we've got all four of those. Um, Another thing that I have are these Vanna's Choice yarns, and I have, um, now these have 170 yards in them. It's 100% acrylic, and I got them in um, silver blue and dusty blue, which I thought went together really well there, but I also got a skein in this um, denim Denim mist is what they're calling that. And I thought this would go really good with this one as well. But either way, we've got, we've got three more blue yarns. And um, these are also a weight four, I believe. Let me make sure. Yeah, they're a weight four. 
and it's 100% acrylic. I think I already told you guys that. Um, but here's some of the really special stuff. So I don't know if you've noticed. I did post to my community tab and uh, for those of you who follow my store, you probably have already seen these, but um, in a previous video, a recent one, I showed you how I dyed these three different colorways. Um, this one is called Kiss Me and it's pink with crimson. And the crimson is almost like a glaze. It's misted on top of there. And then this one is called Be Mine. It's pink with both crimson and violet misted on there like a glaze. And this one is called Hug Me. It is pink with just the violet on there. And this is the Valentine's yarn that I have right now. It's for sale in my Etsy shop if, if you guys want to purchase any. Um, this is bare hair fingering weight um that's the base and I'm, I'm just reading you from this and i'll also put this right here in with the bag so you know all of the information about it so each one of these is is 50 grams okay which is 219 yards and um it is a 80 percent merino wool but 20 percent angora which is um which is made from rabbit hair actually the angora rabbits i'm not certain if you can see that fuzz here but there should be a little bit of a fuzz halo if you look closely and that is that angora um so this is a hand wash cold dry flat it recommends a b through e hook um yeah I, that's what i would say too um like I said, it's number one weight, one through three knitting hook, knitting needle. This was purchased at Knit Picks if you want to purchase some yourself, but it won't be like this. It'll be just bare. And so I just wanted to make sure you guys knew what was in it. And last, but always not least, <laughs> we've got the Noro yarn. I like to include a Noro yarn in all of my giveaways. And I thought this one was a really pretty one that included the purple and pink for Valentine's Day, but also had a little bit of blue to nod to this Hat Not Hate um, organization. So we have got so much stuff in here, guys. We've got patterns, we've got yarn, we've got a Noro, and this Notions pouch is full. We've got this great puzzle. Let me go ahead and tell you how to enter this giveaway, right? That's what you want to know. Again, please listen all the way through these instructions. Really important to YouTube that you pay attention to this. So <laughs> YouTube is not affiliated with this giveaway in any way. This is funded by me for subscribers to Nichecraft. Now, some of these items are also items that people have purchased from the wish list, my channel wish list, which is in the description or into that pinned comment. And I just have a channel wish list just to kind of help me um, make sure I'm putting together some really fun packages. So if you want to check that out, that's great. Um, if not, please do not feel obligated. Um, this giveaway is open to residents of the United States and Canada only for now. Um, to enter, you must subscribe to Nishcraft, like this video, and leave a comment with the word love in it. Okay, so what I, the reason I'm mentioning love is that first off, we've got this Valentine's Day yarn in it, and that has to do with love, but also we have this hat not hate, and I was thinking like maybe using something that has to do with anti-bullying or something like that, but I'm pretty sure that love covers both anti-bullying and Valentine's Day, so we're covered, <laughs> all right? Um, so... I will choose a winner by random comment picker at 6 p.m. Central on January 20th, okay? And um, I just always say this, in case I do not pick it on January 20th, because you never know what's going to happen, I, I will always give 24 hours and then I'll pick it again, okay? So if I don't pick it on January 20th, you can expect a video on January 21st, but I should be able to pick it on January 20th. Um, so the winner must use the word love in their comment to qualify, um, because I'm going to be setting up, you know, on the YouTube random comment picker, I'm going to put love in there. So if you don't put that in your comment, then you won't be picked. Once selected, the winner must email me with a mailing address 
within 10 days of the announcement of the winner. So that is it. Um, so, you know, I said you got to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. But some other things that you can do to help me out, this is not obligatory, but I would also really appreciate it if you visited my Etsy store, um, considered um, becoming a channel member if you if you want. I mean, again, this is not obligatory. And also check out my channel list, wish list. Again, if I get 50 channel members, and this is why I'm saying this, then this giveaway will be available to more countries. And if, and the other one is if I get 5,000 subscribers. So if you guys can help me get to either one of those, this is going to open up to more people. Okay. And, uh, let me think, well, that's all I've got guys. So I'm really excited to bring you a bunch more videos over the next week. But for now, I am going to go ahead and say good luck to all who enter and I will see you soon in another video. Bye for now.